What's happening guys, back at you with another video. So in this video, I'm going to be basically giving my thoughts and my review on the movie 65. So let's go ahead and get into it. So over the weekend, I watched the movie 65. Actually, I watched it right after I watched uh, Stream 6. So basically a double feature that day. Uh, over the weekend, I watched this movie. Um, kind of thing with uh, this movie, like kind of my introduction with this movie was um, the trailer just popped up on, I think it was like Instagram. I was going through Instagram. Didn't know anything about this movie. Didn't even know it was coming out or anything like that. And I... The trailer popped up on Instagram a couple months ago, probably, and I decided to watch it. You know, it caught my eye a little bit, and I was like, hmm, this sounds this sounds interesting. This looks kind of interesting. I'm kind of interested in it now. But uh, we finally got the release of 65. I watched it, and basically what I'm going to say about this movie is just my honest opinion, my honest thoughts on it. Um, so the thing about this movie is that before, well, usually thing I check before I go into a movie is the runtime. I usually check the runtime. So, like, I didn't know... About the runtime on this one, I checked it like a few minutes before I actually went in to go see it. And I found out it was actually kind of short. It's only an hour and a half long, 90 minutes long. So I was like, hmm, that's interesting. That's kind of short that way. But uh, nonetheless, I went in, checked it out. And even though it has a short runtime, this movie does feel really slow paced. Um, the way it plays out is like Adam Driver He um, is the main character in the movie to where he is a captain. Basically leading an exploration mission. And basically, everybody dies, and the way that uh, it sets up this part, it, the way this, the movie is set up is like, this is uh, a race. I don't know necessarily if you will say human. I mean, they look human and all that stuff, but this is a race of people who come from their planet, and they're on a exploration ex, you know, mission, whatever. He's the captain. Everybody else is in hypersleep, or whatever they call it. Um, and he's the one that's uh, the captain of the ship. There's a huge asteroid um, and that devastates or destroys the ship whatever the ship crash lands onto another planet they don't know what planet that is turns out the planet is earth 65 million years ago during the time of the dinosaurs so it was kind of interesting the concept of this was kind of interesting at least from the trailer and what kind of things i was uh kind of noticing about it whatever was that this is a futuristic adam driver you know feature with futuristic weapons going up against dinosaurs that seems like a cool concept so i was like interested let's go check it out check this movie out uh and like i said before this movie is definitely slow paced it's slow paced even though it has a short run time uh, a lot of it's slow paced and basically what happens in the movie is like they're trying to get from point a to point b they're trying to escape the planet so it's they're trying to get from point a to point b he ends up finding one survivor left which is this little girl and basically they're going to try to get off the planet that's basically so it's basically their whole journey the movie is basically their journey from game from point a to point b to get there to the escape ship so they can escape the whole planet and escape the planet you know get off the planet whatever and on the way they encounter dinosaurs and i would say the best thing about it is the encountering dinosaurs and some of the dinosaur action that we get in the movie is the best part but it's very sprinkled in the movie is sprinkled out sprinkled out throughout the movie and a lot of times is just their journey, you know, walking. They're basically walking. They got to walk a long distance. They're get, trying to get to know each other. And I think the thing they're trying to do with this movie is they're trying to make it somewhat heartfelt. Because you find out at the beginning of the movie, Adam Driver is... The whole reason Adam Driver is going on this exploration mission is because he's trying to make some extra money for his daughter. His daughter has an illness or sickness. And he's trying to get some extra money for it. That's how he found out in the opening scene of the movie. That's why he's taking this job, whatever. And... Basically, you come to find out that later on in the movie, uh, his daughter's sick and all that. And that's why he's trying to make this money up for this exploration trip. But, you know, he finds this one survivor and basically he forms this relationship with her to where it's like almost, almost like a, almost perceives her as his daughter. Not necessarily, like, they try to make it look that way. So where it's like, they try to make it more heartfelt where it's like, you know, you kind of feel for him and you feel for your little girl and you feel how they're trying to connect, whatever. But I think one of the things that holds it back is that there's a language barrier in the movie. Of course, he speaks English. The little girl, she speaks another language. And it's hard for them to understand each other. So with that language barrier, I think it's a little hard to actually be able to connect to their characters and be able to feel that heartfelt thing that they might have been trying to go for. Uh, if they both speak, speak spoke the same language, I think we could have had that a little bit more. But with that language barrier, it's very hard for them to connect to each other. And then it's hard for the audience to be able to connect with them on that heartfelt level, you know. But basically, the whole gist of the movie is that they're on this journey trying to get from point A to point B. Probably about two-thirds of the way into the movie, 
they put a ticking time clock on how they how how they got to get off the planet. They put a ticking time clock on how they got off the planet. And if you're familiar with dinosaur prehistoric history, you will understand what the ticking time clock is. They kind of show you something in the sky. If you know the history of dinosaurs and prehistoric times, you'll definitely get the reason or you definitely get will get what is happening. And they put a ticking time clock to where they got to get off the planet. But for some reason, they still kind of go slow paced, even though there's a ticking time clock on their hands. And it's still kind of slow paced. The only times that it feels a little bit more, not rushed, but like just a little bit more action packed is the parts where they do encounter dinosaurs. But like I said, that's not very much. It's sprinkled in throughout here and there. There's still good parts when they ever, whenever they encounter dinosaurs. But the main thing is that they are walking slow paced on this journey from getting from point A to point B. That's basically the movie, what the main part of the movie is. Uh, so it's not a bad movie really, but it's definitely a movie that I was debating on. Like after watching it, I was debating on if I should have spent my money um, to go watch it. And for reference, I spent about like 10 or 11 bucks to go watch it. So I was kind of debating and on whether or not it was worth it or not. I'll say maybe if the, if, what I described to you doesn't sound like a movie you might enjoy as much to actually go pay in theaters. And I'll say maybe wait for like discount day or maybe wait for streaming. Um, like I said, I don't think it's an entirely bad movie or anything like that. It's just very slow paced. It, it didn't really live up to what I wanted it to be or kind of what I was kind of interested in. I mean, the dinosaur parts were interesting and kind of cool, but like the rest of the movie, it was definitely slow paced and all that. And I just think that they didn't, they're trying to make you feel something, but you don't really feel anything with these characters too much. I think Adam Driver did a great job for what it's worth, but like you don't really feel those those heartfelt moments if that's what they're trying to go for. You don't really feel it in this movie, and like it's slow paced. Like I said, dinosaur scenes are pretty cool. Seeing the dinosaurs and all that are pretty cool and all that, and they look good and all that. But uh, this movie is definitely a wait for streaming kind of movie. I would say, you know, you want to you're still interested in watching it. I'll say wait for streaming or go on a discount day or something and check it out if this still seems like you're interested in this or checking out this movie i'll say do that uh but otherwise it's all right it's all right it's all right movie i won't say it's completely bad or anything like that it just depends on what you want to get out of this movie what you expect from this movie what's your taste in movies i guess you could say basically that um like i said not really a bad movie but definitely slow pace it definitely wasn't what i wanted it to be and what i was kind of expecting it to be uh but nonetheless Watch it on your own terms, and you define your own opinions on it. But uh, let me know down in the comments below if you've seen this movie yet. What do you think about it? But that's going to do it all for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Remember, if you want to be a part of Team Legendary, all you got to do is subscribe and turn notifications on so you know why I post another video. Hope you all have an awesome day, and remember, be legendary.